Kia ora taha whanau. This week's module on the Kahao Itiao e-commerce program focused on setting up your one-page uh, Shopify store, and this was part two of that uh, process. Um, a little bit of a difference, I guess, between following what was on the Shopify instructions and actually what you see on your site. Uh, things have changed around a bit, so you had to learn how to navigate the differences, but um, it was reasonably uh, clear instructions. And uh, the first part was on setting up a domain name. I actually set up a new domain name for Taha, a tahadrinks.com, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, that was all fairly straightforward and went uh, without it went well without any hitches. Uh, then the next part of that was uh, setting up Google Analytics, and so you got to learn about uh, the analytics. I've known of Google Analytics, but never really used it. So it was good to be able to take a dive into that and learn all the different um, things that you can do in Google Analytics, particularly around collecting uh, customer insights and customer data. That was all good. Uh, set that up. And then the next one came to uh, creating a Facebook pixel. Now this one was a bit challenging. Um, basically, you've got to get a piece of code out of the back end of uh, Facebook somewhere and paste that code into your Shopify uh, store. Uh, that didn't go as uh, planned uh, as much as I tried to follow the instructions. Once again, it was a bit of a difference between what you, the instructions are telling you and what you're actually seeing on your site. And that's maybe because Facebook have changed some things. So I had to navigate my right way around the site. It became a bit frustrating, so frustrating that I ended up uh, leaving it for the night and Sometime during the night, the patu paiheri must have got into my site because when I went back into it in the morning, it was all fixed. I don't know how that happened. Uh, I'm not sure if it's 100% fixed, but it seems to all work and um, we'll see how it goes anyway once I take it live, I guess. Um, but following the challenges of setting up the Facebook pixel, which once again is about you know, collecting insights and data on your customers and what you can do. Uh, between Facebook and Shopify, so really cool once you get to know all that stuff. But following that, uh, I was around adding products. This is uh, fairly straightforward. I didn't get too carried away with this because I know we're going to have a refresh for Taha, so I've kept it pretty basic at the moment. But once again, uh, no issues there. Put up some photos, put in some text, a little bit of a story, um, and that's all good to go. Uh, then uh, we went to um, how to set up uh, shipping options on Shopify. This is probably a little bit uh, not tricky or difficult, but because we distribute Taha from a number of outlets. Uh, we've got warehouses in Auckland and Wellington, my garage here in Otorohonga, and uh, friends' garages in Fielding, um, Hastings, Rotorua, and my nephew's garage in Masterton. So, yeah. It was uh, trying to set up shipping for all those places. I just wasn't going to go there. I've kept that pretty simple, pretty clean. And the main thing is Taha can get to you wherever you are. No worries there. Uh, so it's set up the shipping options. And uh, really that was it for uh, this session of part two, setting up a one-page Shopify store. Um, I'm looking forward to taking it live. And no doubt I'll have to do a bit more tutoring around and fine-tune things. But um yeah, another fairly straightforward session, apart from the challenges of Facebook. Thank you, Patu Paiheri, for coming into my system during the night and fixing everything up for the moment anyway. So I look forward to uh, the next session, uh, which I'm picking will maybe taking our uh, shop, Shopify store live. So we'll see how that goes. Kia ora.